Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today we are back at the cabinet that we were working on yesterday, but today we're going to be working on the drawers. And so I'm so excited to share with you how I have them organized, so let's jump right in. So if you missed yesterday's video, I'll link it below, but check it out. I share with you how I organized the bottom of this buffet, this new buffet that's in my dining room. I'm still waiting on the feet to come in so that I can raise it up a little bit. You guys know I'm always about a DIY on everything just about that I do, but um, I think that's really needed for this piece here. But today it's all about the drawers and I wanna share with you how I have organized them. So let's jump into the very first drawer, which is the drawer that I keep all of the napkin rings in. So I have them all organized now. It feels good to for them to be in their new home. Many of you know I had a closet that was my entertaining closet and all of my kind of entertaining pieces and serving wear were in there. And now Bentley and Albert has taken over that closet, which was a closet that we had under the stairs. And all of my entertaining pieces and things are gonna be kept in the dining room now. And so these are two little napkin rings that I have that are great for the fall. I used to have a, a larger set, but they've dwindled down and some have broken over the years. And so these are all that I'm left with, but because it's just Mike and I, I like to sometimes, even when um, some of my nap napkin rings get um, lost or broke, I'll keep them in sets of two for when he and I dine. You will also see that I have sets of four. That's because the kitchen table is a four cedar table and when I'm doing our breakfast tablescapes and our dinners and things like that for four I usually use these and then also in the dining room it is a uh, seating for six and so you'll also see six and even more my crystal ones I, I have a good collection of those because I just when I got those they came in a larger set so um, I just have all of them on hand which is great because they go with everything and then here are my little knife rest and if you've been with me over the years you might recognize this from my previous table skates but a knife rest is great for keeping your table cloth if you put it down from getting damaged so if you you're using a tablecloth or you don't want to get things on your table when you're dining these are great so as far as the organizers used within this drawer I use just office organizers from Target I'll link them below also but they're the white metal mesh and they work perfectly these drawers are a little compact so it's you know you have to be strategic when looking for organizers and so I found this comes in a set of four I believe um, I'll link the set below but I think it's a set of four so I'm gonna use this in another area but I think that they are great because they have these feet on the back that keep them from moving around in the drawer, which is always great. But if you don't have that, you can use teacher's putty and that helps your kind of drawer organizer stay in place. Now the next middle drawer is the larger of the three drawers. And this is where I'm keeping all of the silverware. And this is basically the silverware that I use when it's the holidays or when I'm entertaining in the dining room or just entertaining a uh, period. You know, this is the go-to. Um, it has the coordinating serving pieces with all of the flatware. So it works out. I even have my chopsticks in here uh, if we're doing kind of specialty dining and things like that. And so I'm glad now that um, it has a new home and it's easy to access and get to and keep up with my inventory which is is important also because I when I was doing this I noticed one of my forks my my actual dinner forks were they seemed like I didn't have the quantity because I have a service of six by the way and as you can see I'm a little short with the dinner fork so I had to go order more so the great thing about it I got these from bath and bed bath and beyond I always mix that up with bath and body works but bed bath and beyond and the reason why I like these is because they're they're simple but they're beautiful when you do your tablescapes you know and they're affordable and they're just great quality so I really am happy with them and I can get the replacements when I need them and then the chopsticks here they're stainless steel and I get these from world market I'll try to find them and link them below but right here in this space here that's where I want to get some corn skewers for like when you have corn on the cob I have some for our everyday use but I want some really beautiful ones um, that we can use when we're um, kind of having holidays and, and entertaining and things like that um, all of the serving wear here are just kind of the serving 
spoons and uh, kind of the serving forks and all of those things that you need when you're creating that beautiful buffet. And so it all coordinates with the flatware. It's all kind of one big happy family. And I try to keep enough on hand to think about, uh, you know, how I entertain and the kind of the dishes that I tend to have and so that I have enough. Now, what I use to organize the drawer are these bamboo organizers from Target. And I'll link them below. They're white bamboo, which I love because the interior of the drawer is white. So I thought it'd be a nice fresh look to keep everything clean and white. The only problem with these drawers are because they're kind of an odd size, you know, the, the, it doesn't ideally fit in there the way that I want. So I had to turn it to the side, but, but it, in the end, everything has a category, so I'm fine with it. But I think I'm gonna get some bamboo slats for the serving pieces so that can give the drawer a real customized look. And I'll share that with you later um, if I do that. And then the third drawer here is where I have my dinner napkins. And boy, are they barely fitting. And I have another set that still didn't make the cut, but I'm still fighting to if this is the way to go. So I'm thinking that I'm going to make a switcheroo when the other cabinet gets here. And, I, and I'll show you in a minute what I'm thinking about putting in here and replacing these somewhere else. But this is how I have it set up right now. I still have some, have some drawer customization to do with that center drawer. I wanna get that to where you know everything kind of has its own slot. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but I do have these pieces here, which these are my actual silver pieces is serving wear. These are the ones that I use during like Christmas. They're very customized. You'll notice this one of the spoons has a Santa Claus on the end. And so these are really the ones I pull out like at Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that. Um, you know, I can use them all other times, but because they're silver, you do have to stay on top and they require maintenance. So as you can see, they really need to be polished. It's been a minute since I've polished them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to order some of the silver bags, you know, the velvet bags that you keep your silver utensils in. Um, and, and keep them in that because that will help once I shine them up that will help maintain it longer and then I'm going to store them away in the cabinet the other cabinet that's coming that way I can just pull them out during the holiday times when I need them now these are my mini picture frames and if you've been with me you know I use these with entertaining for my buffets to kind of tag off you know what each bowl is as far as the food items I'll take um, one of them and I'll kind of print the dish name on it and sit it in front of the dish and so I'll have a buffet and it, they just mini frames are great for this and so I have a nice collection that I've collected over the years um, I also use them as placeholders when I do tablescapes and you'll see a little gap here because I need some white ones I'm trying to find some beautiful white and wood ones those two I want to add to my collection so um, that's why you see that there but I love this bamboo organizer I got from Target that's stackable because these will easily fit in that cabinet that's coming and so what I'm thinking about doing is taking the mini picture frames and putting those in the drawer where the napkins are and and then categorize in the napkins within the stackable trays because then I can put maybe two sets of napkins in one and then categorize them. Now once my velvet bags come in for my silver pieces here I am going to store them in one of these bamboo organizers. I think that's just the smartest fit to store them away especially since I only pull these typically pull these out once a year um, because they're more ornate and I just that's just when I tend to use them and so one thing I want to tell you as a tip is when you're storing your silverware in your organizers you you don't want to put them side by side you know flip them alter them because you really can save space that way sometimes if you try to line them up all um kind of facing the same way you, you don't really maximize the space as if you alternate them and i tend to think it looks better when you alternate them you know so it just that's always been the way that i've done it, and i've noticed that it really helps um you maximize the space when you do it that way and so this is where all of that is going to be stored and friends the only thing left now is the white dishes and we'll do that in another video so I thank you for joining me today on how I am organizing the buffet. I think we totally have gone through it. I did sit some stuff on top, just playing around with kind of what I wanted to sit on it, but I don't know if that's the finished look, but you'll see that in the full room tour. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.